Hey guys, what's up and welcome to my channel. Today I am filming a... It's a reading old diaries video. I've been trying to come up with a video idea all day and I've just been on a stump and I came across some old diaries just now because I was just going through stuff and I'm like, these are hilarious. I'm a diary like writer when I was younger and I literally have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight diaries right here that I'm gonna like pick from to read from and there's more where this came from. So without further ado, here are my old diaries. So I'm gonna start with like a long time ago. <laughs> oh my god. Dear Journal, Nick is so stupid and does not have a clue how I work and I hope I never get back together with him again. He was supposed to meet me at Mimi's cafe and I waited there for him for a half an hour and he never came. I called him and he said he was in New York with his mom, but I found out he is with another girl. The end forever. <laughs> I think this was like a joke or something because that never happened. <laughs> oh God. Has Britney Spears closed the door on Nick and opened it for Justin? This is back when she dated like Nick Lachey and Justin Timberlake. <laughs> on November 27th, Nick dissed Britney and Britney walked out on him and saw Justin at Starbucks and I guess they talked and talked and well, you know what I'm going to say and they were also caught at the horse races together. Let's go to Britney's journal. Oh, I read, so this was the post about Britney Spears and then this was her journal that, um, you know, she wrote in. Huh. <sighs> Here's, an, here's another one. Once I needed to clean my room, my mom said to. She said if I do good, she'll give me $20. But I didn't. I made an excuse and said I was tired. But then I played with my dogs and played with my friends and I had fun. But my mom didn't have fun to clean my room. So no, no more fun with my friends and no $20. Darn. So I just discovered that this is from fourth grade and there's like a little like questionnaire thingy in the back and these are like really funny because this is such a throwback um favorite actors hillary duff advice try to go to the mall every day <laughs> after school events shopping attitude sassy bands and music hip-hop boys chad whoever chad is i don't know breakfast homemade um bumper sticker bill o bong <laughs> that's how i spelled it classes Hola, hip hop. Colors, play, black. Oh, I spelled black without a K. Black, pink, and black. <laughs> Food, Mexican. Friends, popular. <laughs> okay, worst. This is for the worst stuff. Actors, Justin Timberlake. Don't ask me why I thought Justin Timberlake was on considered worse or something. I don't think that. Advice, don't wipe, don't wipe your you go don't wipe your something you go poop i don't know after school events chess attitude pong pong <laughs> what bands and music op this is i said op opera behaved person zachary boys zachary i remember who this zach kid was he was um this kid and he picked his nose all the time that's all i remember this one is so stupid. I love to like write stories and poems and different things when I was little. So this one is pretty good. Dear mom and dad, we miss you so much right now. We are in South Africa. It's 4.45 in the morning right now. Right now. They wake us up early with alarms by kids singing and pounding on rocks. We actually realize what it's like to be poor. It's so sad. Well, we will write more letters later. One more thing. We're sleeping staying in a one-room shack. <laughs> I'm pretty sure a shack would would not even be the size of one room. Bye. Love you guys. Maddie, Chelsea, and Hannah. What was my problem? So I believe this next one is like from 2005. That's nine years ago. So I was 10. Um, and let me just show you how cool this book is. It has all these cool um, stickers. I forgot what these dogs were called, but I had a box. I have a boxer actually. It says, I love boxers. I have this little cheetah sticker. I got all these things from like arcades, I'm guessing. And then I don't know if do you guys remember these stickers. Like I collected them. One says, Conserve, conserve, papa. Yeah, conserve energy. Don't talk to me. Me plus friends minus homework equals fun. Punk chick. I'm so close to perfect. It's scary. 
More me, less you. And then last but not least, I didn't ask to be princess, but if the shoe fits... So sassy. I don't remember being this sassy when I was younger. June 13th, 2005. This was a day after my birthday. No school. Okay, today I do not have to go to school because it's my class's end of the year party and I'm not going. So yeah, school is almost out. Yee-haw. Wow, this is a good poem. Mm-hmm. Rats and cats. Rats and cats don't get along. They don't even play ping pong. If they did, that would be wrong. And they would start singing a song so rats and cats just don't get along. <laughs> my Brittany Shepherd. What is my issue? So in sixth grade, I used to make these like composition books and I'd like decorate them with like scrapbook paper and stuff. And I would make them for like other girls and they were burn books. Yes, burn books like Mean Girls. That is so bad. I never had one personally, but I made them for other people and that is just so rude. Why did girls want those? The girls are evil, man. Okay. Here's, I'm just gonna read one from this book because it's Christmas time and this is such a cool little rap that I wrote. Yo, Christmas is here. Yo, Christmas is here and we're gonna have some fun. Jump once, jump twice, jump thrice. What? Three times. Christmas, Christmas, how do you do? Santa, Santa, I got you. Wow, that's pure talent right there. Should I go professional? So this book is from seventh grade. This was when I had like my first ever, not really boyfriend. He was basically my MySpace and texting boyfriend because we never even gave each other, we gave each other one hug in our whole entire relationship. So that's cool. Dear, oh, entry number one, February 2nd, 2008. Dear Donut Book, OMG, okay, the other day I made a MySpace, right? So I ask this 8th grade kid, Andrew, that goes to my school to be on my buddy list. So he accepts it, then he tells me that he likes me on MySpace, and he told me that his best friend always tries to push him into me whenever I walk by him. Then, then yeah, he said that he wrote on his hand, I love Brittany. Then the next day, he has this kid come up to me and tell me that he likes me. Then yesterday on MySpace, he asked me to be his Valentine, and I said, I don't know. No, wait, I said IDK. So he, like, might ask me in person on next Thursday parentheses valentine's day and maybe give me chocolate or something the problem is he's not very cute and he's kind of a dork a little bit in a way i don't know what to do when he asks me to be his valentine what do i do help sos <laughs> love Brittany. confused and scared then i have a little heart that says not in love <laughs> oh my god am i horrible <laughs> then the next entry says Ghost entry number one, yes or no. Is he going to be ask me to be his valentine? Yes or no, I circled yes. Will he stop liking me? I put yes or no, I circled no. Is he going to ask me out? Yes. Am I going to say something totally stupid? No. Results on February 14th. Ugh. Oh, there's more, there's more to this little um, story. So anyways, oh, February 15th, 2008, the day after Valentine's Day, what, what happened? I don't know. So anyways, I'm back. Sadly, he didn't give me any chocolate or teddy bear on V-Day. <laughs> but we had spiritual emphasis day on V-Day, so during that, his friend and him were texting me the whole time. And I like him a teensy weensy bit, teensy weensy bit, but then his friend is hot. Oh yeah. And I lately have been talking to his friend more than him because he has been grounded off the computer and he doesn't have texting on his phone. And I think his friend likes me. I don't know what to do. Oh, oh. Ah, dot, 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 help me. Love, Brittany. Oh my god. <laughs> Two best friends fighting for one girl. L-O-L. Oh, two best friends fighting for one girl's heart. J-K, L-O-L. So I'm going to end it with another sad, like, that was a sad time, but this is like an old um, notebook I found. And it's from a bad time in my life and I got really hurt during a breakup and it's just funny reading this stuff and it's like it kind of makes me sad it like makes my stomach cringe a little bit because I'm like whoa that I I like remember the pain I went through and it hurts me that I was such a stupid girl and I let a boy hurt me as bad as he did here we go I sit in sweet serenity subtle memories replay in my mind fighting back to tears my emotions come alive a past put to rest, hoping one another for the best. I never imagined it would all come down to this. For I would, for I would have perpetually wished love a feeling, not just a word. Overused, misinterpreted, leads to hurt. 
You say you'll never forget, yet always regret your abuse of this word. The way you broke me shall forever lurk. Fire! Alright, so that's it for today's video. I have plenty of more diary entries. I did not read them all. I could have, but I didn't. That'd be a long video and I'd have a lot of them. And I'm sure I have more diaries laying around somewhere. I just can't find them. But thank you so much for watching today's video. Don't forget to check out Vlogmas. I'm not vlogging every day. I've missed a few days. Well, not yet, but I will be missing a few days, so sorry, but I'm trying my best to do Vlogmas. I'm not going to put up boring, um, unentertaining content if it, that's what it is, so yeah. Um, like, comment, subscribe, and this was pretty fun, going back in the past. Alright, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!